It's been a long time coming. Two years, in fact, for the Forge FC to compete for the Canadian Championship in soccer. It's happening this week at Tim Hortons Field when that team down the road, TFC, comes to town and faces off for the pandemic delay 2020 Canadian Championship. To get you set, great to have Hammers captain Kyle Becker back on the show. Hey, pal, how are you? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? Good, man. Well, listen, like Saturday night, Tim Hortons Field, Toronto, Hamilton. It's normally some different colors that are going against each other. You got the double blue against the black and gold. Now you got red and orange. And you know, I didn't know you guys have never played TFC before. No, um, obviously, in uh, in these four years, we, we've come up against uh, some other MLS sides like uh, Montreal, but never had the opportunity to play against TFC. So I think everyone's looking forward to it. I would say we would want to take a time machine back to 2020, but let's not do that because we know what that year meant. But um, what's it what's it going to be like against going? You have some history with uh, with with TFC actually playing with them. I think how many guys in the team? About seven guys in the team have some history with the TFC. What's it yeah. going to be like going up against the Reds? Oh, there's, as you said, there's a handful of guys uh, in our club who've, who've had experience playing with TFC, whether it was the first team or the academy. Um, obviously, they're, uh, they're a club with a ton of uh, success in recent history. It's a fantastic opponent, but you're playing for a final at uh, Tim Hortons Field, so it's going to be fantastic, and I'm sure the atmosphere is going to be unbelievable, and everyone's looking forward to it. Well, you say the atmosphere. You know that TFC travels well, so you know they're going to be coming down the QE. They're going to be there. Right now, it's looking like about 12,000 are, are going to be in the stands, which is, which is really cool to see. For you guys, it's been a tough start to the season, let's be honest. What's, what's, been, what's been going on? Uh, we've had a lot of changeover. I mean, we have a... a a, a younger squad than we have had in in recent years, but uh, I think we're hitting our stride now and and we're coming into ourselves, which is uh, which is great. It's a it's a long season. Um, we've never really started well, so no one's panicking uh, over at uh, over in the locker room there. Because I think we could, let's bring up Montreal because you just played Montreal for the 22 Canadian Championships and they I don't know they laid a licking on you three nil. What did you, did you learn anything from that? Because Montreal's a good squad. Um, did you learn anything? Anything? Can you take away anything from that match to use Saturday? Yeah, I mean, any any time you play a, a team like that, they've had a they've had a great start to their season. So um, we knew it was going to be a tough opponent going into the game. Hey, it wasn't our best 90 minutes. It is what it is. We have to have a little bit of short-term memory. And the fact is, we're playing for a final in 90 minutes. Um, we've, we've played against big competition in in our history, so we know uh, we know what it's all about. And it's just a matter of coming up and, and getting it done on that day. I, I, I know it's I know only I know it's only one match, but it's still pretty cool if we kind of step back and look like at the big picture about soccer in this country. You know what I mean? Like I don't know, four years ago, if you said it was Hamilton and Toronto playing at Tim Hortons Field, you're just like, huh? What are you talking about? You know what I mean? Just even how far and you being with Ford for the past four years, like, what's it like for you to see how how soccer has grown so much? Yeah, it's it's been a little bit of a whirlwind. I think uh, a lot of people may have been pleasantly surprised in, in terms of how far we've come in these four years. But um, the guys who've, who've been a part of, of this game in this country for a long time has always known there's been fantastic talent. Um, what's going on right now with, with our domestic league and the CPL, the, the three teams in the MLS, and, and especially what's going on with our national team, it's an exciting time to be playing soccer in this country. Yeah, I know. So normally with these Canadian championships, it is a berth into the CONCACAF. You guys, have, you guys are well-versed in CONCACAF experience, I think with 13 or so matches. So that you won't get a berth in this because TFC already got that. But still, you guys play for trophies. I'm assuming exactly. you want that trophy. Absolutely. I mean, it's... it's it's uh, playing in a final is uh, is not easy to come by. Um, guys have a very long career. They have successful careers, and they never have the opportunity to play for a trophy. So it's not something we want to take for granted, um, especially the fact that we're playing on our home soil. So something that we're all looking forward to, and we're trying to just uh, add another trophy to that cabinet. Awesome. Kyle, appreciate you always coming on the show and uh, letting your opinion because it's always a good opinion because you, uh, I don't know, you've been in this game for a long time and you've been with the team for a long time. So, listen, good luck on Saturday nights and it should be lots of fun down at Tim Hortons Field because that team, that red team is making their way down the QEW. There you go, the 2020, <laughs> it's not a typo, Canadian Championship <laughs> final between you know, Forge FC and Toronto FC goes down Saturday night at 7. Good luck, Kyle.